This is Carlota de Limon. It's a, a real simple dish that is prepared uh, kind of in, in two different times of the year for special celebrations. One is for Christmas, and so it's kind of a, one you can learn how to do tonight. And then if you want to do it when you go home for family, it's something that's real simple to do. Uh, it is a, a Mexican dish that actually comes by way of France. And so uh, you, you find it prepared in, as I said, for Christmas and then also for Easter. And we're gonna prepare it with lime, but it can also be prepared with, uh, there's Eliana coming back, okay. It can also be prepared with peach extract and with uh, a few different kinds of fruits. Hey, Eliana. And so there are a couple of, of ways that it can be prepared. This is the kind of the, the more common way of doing it with the limes. And other countries have a, other Latin American countries have a similar, uh, a similar dessert to this. And so it, it's something that can be done, or there's something that you'll find it in, in a number of different countries. And also kind of the other use or the other preparation that you would find this for, and, and this is more of the historical part of it, is that this is something that came about in large part because it is it's something real easy to put together and can be done in a few hours. And so sometimes families will make this if they find out in a few hours they have family coming over or someone coming to visit. And so it's something that can be put together fairly quickly, put in the fridge for a couple of hours and is ready to go. So it's kind of a, a, a convenience a dessert and also one that can be prepared for uh, for a special occasion like Christmas or Easter. Hey, so uh, if you have the materials, it, the one thing I'll ask is if you were able to wash the, the materials before starting. So who all is going to do the actual preparation tonight? Kayla, you're going to prepare it? Okay, great. Eliana, are you going to prepare it? Along with us? Yeah, okay, good. It's a, it's kind of a first step. If you can real, uh, carefully wash the cans and the, the limes, if you have it, you want to start with that step just to make sure because uh, I didn't wash them before bringing them in just so that they're, they're clean. And if you can give us a signal that you have that done as you come back so that we know so we can go on to the next step. I'm going to turn the, the screen a little bit so that you can see my uh, table and the materials so I can walk you through it. Let's see. Is that, that's kind of visible. So I'll be off to the side, kind of peeking in and out. As it's we go. good. It looks very authentic. <laughs> okay. So, Liana, did you get a chance to wash yours? Yes, I did, thank you. Okay, great. I see a thumbs up from Kayla. Okay, Katie, would you have a chance to wash your materials real quick? Yep, I'm all set. Okay, good. So then we'll, we'll continue. Now, we're gonna want to open up the cans. And so we'll do that and pour the liquids into a bowl that we'll mix together. So you have the, the evaporated milk, that whole can can go in. And that just has a, a pull top. Do you want to pour that into a container that you can mix in? And then the, the other one, uh, now with this, la lechera, this is a very, very sweet. So this is a liquid. If you don't like things that are very sweet, you might not want to put the whole can in. So just a, just a warning, if, you're, if you don't have a, a strong sweet tooth, maybe just put a little bit in. And so if you do like things that are sweet, go ahead and dump the whole can into your bowl that you're gonna mix in.
Brian, is this a dish that's eaten by the whole family or is it more for adults? Is it more for children? It's enjoyed by the whole family. Okay. So Sorry, I didn't open it very well, so it's taking a while to come out. Yeah, it's one that, that uh, children and adults, it's kind of a, a, a real, real popular dish that, that the whole family can enjoy. Right, and then the third step would be to uh, your lime. So again, if uh, it depends how 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 um, sour you like things. So if you like just a little bit of sour, you may want to just use one. If you like things a bit more sour, you know, go by how many you have. And so there should be three. And you want to squeeze the lemon, sorry, the lime juice into the mixture. You just go ahead and squeeze it in there. And in my family, we, we like it very, uh, very sour. And so we put all three in. So one, we'll do the other two. If I can check in on you to see how you're doing, Kayla, Eliana, Katie, how's it going? Imagine you're, you have your hands busy and are, don't really want to touch the computer. It's going good. Yes, okay, good. I don't want to go, go too fast with it either so that we miss a step. Okay. Here's the second one. And my, my two boys, I have a uh, eight-year-old and a six-year-old and I, uh, everyone here is in class with me and so you've heard a little bit about them but uh, we use a lot of limes for cooking and one of the things that they like to do is to uh, squeeze it right into their mouths <laughs> and so we don't even if we if we use limes for something to cook with they tend to uh, hang on to what's left of them because they like to they put a little bit of salt on them and then squeeze the juice into their mouths. It's one of their favorite things. And it always makes them do the, the um, like the pucker face, right? Maybe because it's very sour, but they like to do that anyway too. I don't know why. I can't see you or see myself in there, but it's something that they, they just love to do. So are you at the point where you have all the liquids in a bowl? Yep. 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 except for Lolly Chero because I don't have a can opener. Oh no. <laughs> are you in a are you in a dorm, Eliana? Yes, I am. Okay. So usually those kitchens that are around campus, they do have one. Oh they um, okay. Yeah, so check the drawers in there. I know I don't know how close we're to a kitchen. Well I can always run down and grab it. I mean like I just have I'll watch and then I okay. mean I have all the supplies. But thank you, I didn't know that. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I should have put that in the in the thing. I didn't think of it. Sorry, Eliana. So then, um, as you said, uh, thank you, Kelsey, for that extension. You can just run down the ground afterwards. Then once you have everything in there, you want to start mixing it really well and kind of slowly in a circle, but you want to try to make it so that all of the ingredients are mixed in there and it's a nice uh, creamy mixture where you don't tend to see the, the lime juice anymore. And so you want to stir it for a bit. Sometimes if you, and I, you can do it with a blender and then it only takes a few seconds, but I didn't think you would have access to blenders. And so it can be stirred. You just want to make sure that it's stirred nice and good. So do that a little bit. And then- Put the camera back down, Brian. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> you see me, but not the, the actual thing. I've, this is the first time I've done it on a computer and so. I'm not good with camera angles unless I'm right in front of it. We've got to get you some sweet, a uh, sweet camera setup, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's get in there. It, you want it to be kind of like a consistency of milk, like a thick milk, like a whole milk. 
And so if it kind of runs like that nice and easy off of the spoon, then you probably got it pretty good. Most recipes online will tell you to put the cookies in first, but we found through doing this many times that it tends to help to have the mixture down a layer of the mixture first and then the cookies and then you just keep doing layers until you're out of liquid. And so we'll do that next. You'll have the plastic container. I did a, one of these just so you could see it go in. They're the, the plastic containers that you want to pour just a thin layer across the bottom of. do it and not dump it all over. Okay. So once you have a layer covering the whole bottom of your dish, then you want to open up one of your packages of cookies. And take out a bunch and you're just going to lay them right down into the bottom of the container and make a layer and try to cover up as best as possible. Are the cookies very sweet or no? They're, they're like a vanilla cookie and so they're, um, they don't taste like a, um, kind of like a, a sugar cookie like you might think or what they might look like. They are a bit sweet, but they taste more of vanilla than a sugar cookie. And I, when I get to the corners, sometimes I'll, I'll just break little pieces and try to make as close to a layer as I can. Okay, I'm going to stop and check to see how you're doing. Kayla, Katie, how's it going? Good. Good, good? Okay. So once you have a layer of cookies on there, you can take your, your mixture again and just go over it again with another layer. Cover up the cookies so that you can't see them. and put another layer of cookies across on top of that. Cover it up again with the mixture. Yeah, I thought about it and then I thought, well, if it, I didn't know if it worked with the computer, I didn't try it ahead of time, which I should have, but try to use up as much as you can of the, the cookies and the mixture to fill up your container. So put another row down. All, Sorry, go ahead. When this is all done, do you eat it with a fork? Do you eat it with a spoon? So you want to refrigerate it for a couple of hours. So at least about two hours it should stay in the fridge. And so just, and when you get to the last part, you just kind of want to dump it in so everything's good and covered. And yeah, then you would put it in the fridge. Uh, there's a cover. It's, it's a good idea to put the cover on it when you put it in the fridge. And then you'd want to let it sit for about two hours in the fridge before taking it out. And then you just take a, a knife, just like you would with a regular cake, and cut a corner or cut a, a square, and take it out with a, with, a, with a fork or with a spatula, and you can go ahead and eat it. And so that's pretty much it. Do you have a pre-prepared one so we can see a final? A final one? Oh, uh, that would have been a good idea. I didn't. 
It means with the, the packages, I, I, yeah, yeah. With everything I, I had to put in the bags, I just had this one to make to show. That's good. Thank you. You guys, he, uh, Dr. Gunderson, cleaned out all of the local supermarkets in the area so, so they didn't have any more. So that's why we didn't have too many bags prepared because we, we got all the materials. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had hoped to get more, and I, it, it showed, too, that there were some at Walmart, and when I went, there weren't. I tried at a few different Walmarts and I, in, in the area, too, and there were a, a few boxes, and those were that went into the, into the bags that we prepared. You guys have, like, some of the only ones for miles. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of footwork that Professor Gunderson has gone through for this project has been immense. <laughs> Well, I hope that, that you'll enjoy it. I think it's it's really delicious once it's it's had a chance to cool and, and the cookies get nice and soft. And so when you bite into it, it's it's kind of along the consistency of a cheesecake. The crackers will get a little mushy as well. And so it's uh, either with a, a cup of coffee or with uh, yeah, and, uh, some other uh, hot tea or something like that. It tastes really, really good. Nice. Yeah, if you guys want to send um your your completed projects over to Professor Gunderson. That would be amazing. We'd love to post them over on our social media. Or you can tag us too. How's how to, how to yeah. go? Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Oh, can't we can't hear you. Can't hear you. You're, you're muted. <laughs> Looks good. It's ready to go in the fridge. All right, so you want to just put that, that top on it and put it in there and, and make sure it's in there for a couple hours, at least two hours or so. You can put it in the freezer and it'll go quicker, but then it comes out frozen. So it's kind of your choice. It, we like it better when it comes out of the fridge than the freezer. Because then it's more, it's softer more versus the frozen. Does anyone have any questions on, on how to make it or, or about the dessert itself? Does it, look, does it look good? Yeah, I'm gonna go and get one and then I'll make it tonight or tomorrow. Good, and the, the recipe's in the bag and, and then also it's, um, you'll have a lot of extra cookies. Okay. Uh, because I, I put, I think, four uh, bags of cookies in there and so you'll have cookies for a while too. Okay. Uh, sure, Kayla, you probably had a lot of extras, right? Katie? Yeah, so there are a lot of extras. So you'll have cookies for a while, too. Sounds good. Katie, how did, you, how did yours go? Good. I had to look up an easy way to open a can without a can opener, but I got um, it to work. What did you did do? You do um, they said, like, use the back of a spoon, and you just, like, score it a couple times, and then it just pops. It's really easy, actually. Dang, I want like, a like, tutorial on how to do that. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, if there are any other questions, then make sure you put it in the fridge. And, and uh, as uh, Kelsey said, no, make sure you please send a picture of once it comes out and how it looks. And then also, I'll be excited to talk to you again either tomorrow at the Spanish table if I see you or, or next week in class to find out how it tasted. All right. so give us your rating out of five stars. What do you give it? Sounds good. Thank you for coming. Have a good night, everyone. And make sure to grow, grab International Education Week snacks. And tomorrow we do Peru, thanks to uh, the wonderful Spanish club. So we'll have those snacks out tomorrow. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank have a good night. Thank you.